All right, guys, welcome back to the official YouTube page of WrestlingRumors.net. Guys, please subscribe to this very page right at the bottom. Uh, make sure you're checking out WrestlingRumors.net in your browser, too. Um, I just wanted to do a quick rant on the uh, on the the WWE Network being free in the month of May. Listen, it's fantastic for if you don't have the network, please subscribe to the network. There's a ton of great content on there. Uh, I love the WWE Network. I've been a subscriber since day one, but that is my complaint about all of these free months. WWE, when are you going to do anything for your loyal customers? The guys and gals that have been with you since day one, since the six-month commitment, since all of these free months have been rolled out to every other customer. And I know what you're saying. Just cancel your subscription, re-sign up with a new email address. I know a lot of people do that, but here with me... One, it feels dirty. It feels like I'm, che I'm not cheating the system, but I shouldn't have to jump through hoops to keep content that I enjoy. And number two is I have a list of programs in my watch list, old pay-per-views I've attended, WrestleManias I've attended, Raws that I've attended. I like keeping those cataloged and going back just for historical purpose, for, for a little bit of nostalgia to get that to reminisce upon times at different events. That's what you would think the WWE would want their passionate and casual fans to do. But for some reason, they th they throw these free months out like they're Oprah. Everybody gets a free month, everybody gets a free month, everybody gets a free month. And let me hammer home the, the, the point. Since they dropped the six month subscription, uh, the six month commitment, I'm sorry, um, we've had four out of seven months have been free. November, February, April, and May. Basically, you paid for the Royal Rumble, you paid for TL, TLC in December, uh, we paid for the Royal Rumble in January, and we paid for WrestleMania in March. If this goes through April's May, uh, April's free, May is free, June is money in the bank, so you'll pay for money in the bank, they'll probably give July away for free, and then August you'll pay for because it's SummerSlam. Are we getting down to where we're basically paying for the big four? And my question is, has money in the bank basically replaced Survivor Series as one of the big four? And this isn't my only complaint with the WWE Network, as much as I love it. I love how much content it is. And I know, guys, you're saying it's only $10 a month. What are you bitching about? I'm bitching because every time I've called about the free month, hey, why do all these new customers get it and current customers don't? They basically tell you, no, it's only for new customers only. I've actually threatened to cancel before and told them to cancel, and they just never did. And guys, this isn't the WWE that just does this. Every industry does this. If you go to the wireless industry, how many times do you have to call your cell phone provider after the fact because you have a feature on there that you didn't ask for, but they were told to put on anyway because they have a number to fill. At the end of the day, guys, we're coming patient zero for WWE stockholder and shareholder testing. They want to see ad drops. They don't want to see, or they want to see ads. They don't care about drops. They don't care about same month cancellations. All they care about is ads, ads, ads. So they don't care about the passionate fans. The, the loyal fans that have basically spent $10 a month all the way through. And again, guys, I know it's only $10. Understand, though, there's a lot of people that only $10 is $10. Not everybody has it like some people do. And there's a lot of people I do think that right now, I mean, I know I, in the if you look at me paying in the last, in these last four months, that's four months where... Hey, maybe that's $40 that I would have used for a couple WWE, you know, t-shirts. Maybe one that's on sale for my daughter. Maybe one for myself. Maybe one for my wife. You don't know how else I'm going to invest that money into the WWE. So all I'm asking is, guys, at the end of the day, it's a terrible business model. It's smart. It's very shrewd. But it's very disloyal to your very, very loyal customers. It's it's ironic that your biggest star is John Cena and the, and the tagline is hustle, loyalty, and respect. Well, where's the respect to the loyalty, the fan base that you do have? Society's reminding me a lot of the mid-90s right now with everything that's going on. And my concern is, is that once people start tuning out like they did in the mid-90s, and by tuning out, I mean canceling their subscriptions, especially if you're talking about a price increase coming up in the future, are people going to tune back in? It took the Attitude Era to really bring wrestling fans back into wrestling because it was dying in the mid-90s. And now if you're talking about a rate increase, now you're talking about there's you can only access from one device. Case in point, if I have to leave the room to, to use the bathroom and my wife and kid are watching a pay-per-view downstairs, I can't watch the I can't watch it in a different room on my phone or on my tablet. That's insanity, WWE. I understand you protecting your investment because yes, everybody was abusing the policy of trading, you know, sharing sharing their accounts. But at the end of the day, you can't increase prices, limit to only one device, and keep giving all these free months to new subscribers when your loyal subscribers are sitting back and basically getting super kicked in the face. 
Guys, if you think I'm overreacting, if you think this is sour grapes, leave some comments below. If you agree with me, leave some comments below. And guys, again, it's not that I'm debating that $9.99 isn't a great price for the content that you get. NXT, the original programming, every pay-per-view, I understand that. But my point is, is that at the end of the day, is it more about the shareholders or is it more about the fans? Because in today's sports entertainment, I feel like fans are getting left out and it's all about the shareholders. Guys, this has been a WrestlingRumors.net rant. Please make sure you're subscribing. My name is Adam Daly. Follow me on Twitter at AdamDaily13. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and make sure you're checking out WrestlingRumors.net.